advice or tips that proved so relevant to you when you did become mama? A lot. Yung pagsisinungaling lang eh. <laughs> Pag nagsinungaling ka sa akin, magsisinungaling sa'yo yung anak mo. True enough. <laughs> Feel mo ngayon. Oo, yung wala na ako magawa pag nagsinungaling. Tama na naman ang nanay ko. <laughs> na tumbok na naman niya eh. May mga times naman na little things lang naman. Wala namang mga major issues sa amin ng mga anak ko. Um, Johan kasi is the eldest. She's 14 already. So, looking at her, I'm, I cannot compare myself to her kasi at that age I was working already. I started working at age. So, I Whenever she would ask me, Mom, at this age, when did you start uh, to go out with friends without ayaya? Ah, an anak, hindi ako nakalabas ng bata ako. So, hindi applicable sa akin yan. Si Mommy lang would always tell me na, pag naging nanay ka, mahihirapan kang magsabi ng oo. Oh -oh. It's hard to say yes to difficult decisions. Um, like you, going out with friends, you want to say yes but you do not trust pa the people around her, so you have to say no, and then at the end of the day, magkakatapuhan kayo. Um, it's something that I'm trying to to get used to, kasi lumalaki na si Johan eh, at sinusubukan ko na rin i-accept na at some point, mag 18 na to. Sabi ko, hataan mo na tayo ng 16 ha? <laughs> Pili ka lang, 16 o 18 lang yung party. Pag nag-16, wala nang 18. O oh, eh, na yung dalawa yung party. Ano naman siya, um, I am just so lucky that I have my eldest daughter to be an example, to set an example to the younger ones. And she listens naman, may resistance ng very, very slight. And isa rin yan sa sinabi ng nanay ko sa akin, magkakaroon ka ng anak na parang ikaw, ang daming dahilan. Tala, tama na naman siya. <laughs> ano na nga ako eh, um, Grand Slam na ako. Nakuha ko na lahat ng awards sa nanay ko. Pag Grand Slam na rin si Johan. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you for your questions.